In remembering Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, her body arriving at the Supreme Court earlier today. She will lie in repose there for the next two days. A total of eight pallbearers were seen carrying the flag-draped casket up the steps of the court as dozens of people watch from behind barricades. A private ceremony will be held for family and friends in the court's Great Hall. And on Friday, Ginsburg's body will lie in state in the Capitol. We want to show you now live pictures of the Supreme Court. You can see outside the Supreme Court, that is where uh, the late justice's casket is placed and mourners will be able to pay their respects. Meanwhile, President Trump is set to name his nominee to fill Ginsburg's seat at the end of the week. And a bitter confirmation battle is shaping up in the Senate. Democrats led by presidential nominee Joe Biden are protesting the Republicans rush to replace Ginsburg, saying voters should speak first on Election Day. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg returning to the Supreme Court for the final time. Waiting for her casket to arrive, more than 100 of Ginsburg's former clerks lined up in the stone steps leading to the Great Hall. Her colleagues and fellow Supreme Court justices all gathering around her casket. Family and friends remembering her in a ceremony inside. Of course she will live on in what she did to improve the law and the lives of all of us. And yet, still, Ruth is gone, and we grieve. Chief Justice John Roberts speaking during the ceremony, praising Ginsburg's legacy of fighting gender discrimination and influencing more women to practice law. Her 483 majority, concurring, and dissenting opinions will steer the court for decades. They are written with the unaffected grace of precision. Her voice in court and in our conference room was soft, but when she spoke, people listened. Ginsburg died Friday due to complications of metastatic pancreatic cancer. She was 87 years old. Remembered by those around her as a trailblazer and fighter, she served on the court for more than 27 years. Following the ceremony, her casket moved under the portico at the top of the building's front steps. Mourners will be able to pay their respects as she lies in repose today and tomorrow. On Friday, Ginsburg will become the first woman to lie in state in the U.S. Capitol building. Among the words that best describe Ruth, tough, brave, a fighter, a winner, but also thoughtful. Her death leaving a void and a vacancy on the Supreme Court. President Trump saying he will announce his Supreme Court nominee this weekend. I will soon be announcing that nominee. You're going to love it. You're going to be so happy. If you don't love it, don't vote for me. At the top of Trump's list of potential nominees, Amy Coney Barrett. She currently sits on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit in Chicago. The president has reportedly already met with her. The White House is also currently working to schedule a meeting between the president and Judge Barbara Lagoa. Lagoa is from Miami and is the daughter of Cuban exiles. Republicans appear all but certain to vote on his nominee before the election. Two great Supreme Court judges or justices and... Now we're going to get a third. But Democrats are calling it hypocrisy after Republicans refused to even consider Obama's nominee, Merrick Garland, eight months before the election. The Republican majority will have stolen two Supreme Court seats, four years apart, using completely contradictory rationales. And we want to take you now back to those live pictures of Ruth Bader Ginsburg lying in repose at the Supreme Court. You could see a line forming outside mourners there paying their respects to the late justice who no doubt has left quite a legacy for for years to come and president trump does plan to visit ginsburg's casket tomorrow as far as when he will announce his nominee he said he will be holding a news conference saturday at 5 p.m